Hey guys, so I got this really cool um, vinyl last week from 651 Vinyl and it looks normal, but it is a transparent vinyl and it is, it's an Oracle 651, but it's transparent so you can see through the vinyl when you put it on a surface that's, that's like glass or acrylic or something like that. So you can you can see through the vinyl. This is from my test cut. And it cut on the same setting that I cut regular Orcal 651. So that was super easy. It's curling up because I have a brand new mat that I just cut it on. Um, and it's really sticky. So it made it curl a little bit when I pulled it off. But um, what I decided to do with it, I'm sitting there trying to figure out what do I want to do with this. And at my desk I keep this jar. Um, and it's full of cotton and it's what I use with my alcohol to clean surfaces before I apply vinyl. So you always want to clean your surface and make sure there's no dirt and oils and things like that on it. And so I just keep these by my desk and I figured that this would be something cute to put this vinyl on. So um, I went ahead and cut it and because I measured this and it was 13 inches around and this is a 12 by 12 inch piece. I cut it at an angle to fit the whole 13 inches on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my favorite scissors. And um, as always, I will link to everything I use down below in the description. I've had these scissors about five years. They've since changed the color. They're now white uh, with a white and orange handle, but they're the same scissors. So I'm just going to trim this down because I can use this for something else. And then trim on this side. And so the dimensions of my jar were 13 inches around and about two and a half inches in height of working area. And so I decided that I would rather fill the two and a half inch or the 13 inches around more than I wanted the two and a half. So it's, um, going to kind of fit around like so. I'm going to have to trim this bottom piece off, which is absolutely fine. We don't need it that thick. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to read this real quick. And this is a, a file from the Silhouette Design store. So it looks like we got out all of our little extra bits. And so it does look like I cut it um, a little too tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of figure out where this needs to be trimmed. And I'm just going to trim it down. If you have a guillotine cutter or a cutting mat with a rotary cutter, you could do this very precisely. But I'm just going to wing it which is what I usually do, but we can easily adapt. And I actually like that better than with a really thick border. So now we're going to fit around just fine. And so we're going to take our app tape and this is my new favorite uh, transfer tape. This is the medium tech clear transfer tape from 651 vinyl. And I've been using the um, AT65, but you have to buy that a hundred yards at a time. And that's great if you want to spend that much money at once. But for this, you get 30 feet. Um, it's maybe like $10, I think. This is what I'm going to do. Like $10 for the roll, and it's 30 feet. So it's, it's a good bargain that way. So I'm just going to trim this like so. And then I'm going to cut off another piece. So you guys can kind of get a glimpse into how I do things here. So again, I will link to that as well. But I'm going to lay this down. Kind of put this up here. And then I'm going to overlap here. I will save this. I had um, uh, a girl asked me 
the other day, she said, you know, when you trim off your pieces that you don't need to use, how do you, how do you save them? Because the app tape doesn't come on a backing. You can stick it back on some extra leftover backing from another decal. You can stick it onto page protectors or whatnot. You can even stick it back on your roll um, so that you can use it again another time. A lot of times I'll stick things to my the side of my printer. <laughs> Um, but I do try to, to save stuff when I can. Um, burnish this down. And then what we want to do is, I kind of want to trim this up. So that we can get a nice, even. And I have already cleaned this. I cleaned this with alcohol before I started. We want to get it lined up straight and what you can do is I didn't mean to stick it back on there take an extra piece of your app tape so I like to use app tape as tape a lot of times when I'm working and so what you can do is get this where you want it all the way around and I'm just going to take a piece of this app tape and I'm going to use it to tape this down onto here. So you could have left a tail hanging off. You can use regular tape. You can use anything you want. But I like to just use the app tape since that's what I'm using already. Now we can pull this off with little to no effort. Start going around. We do have a little tiny overlap right there, so I want to make sure that I pull back this transfer tape. And then we're just going to pull it off. You can go through and burnish it down. It sticks really well to glass. It should be pretty easy. And this is a nice medium tack transfer tape. So it doesn't take a ton of effort to get it to release. right off effortless very easy and there we go so I think that looks pretty cool so I'll put my cotton back in pop my lid on and now we have a very cute decorated um, little jar so that's gonna look a lot better on my desk than it did before uh, again the transparent vinyl was from 651 vinyl I'll post a link directly to that they have a couple other patterns as well that are really neat um, and then the medium tack transfer tape my absolute new favorite transfer tape um, definitely will be my go-to from now on I like the fact that it's on a smaller core it doesn't take as, up as much room sitting on my desk and it works really well uh, I'll put a link to that as well and if you guys have any questions just let me know thanks